Bianca, Amber, police really aren't sharing what exactly happened here as all we know at this point is that both a six month old and a man were wounded last night. The police are urging anyone with information to come forward as people here are asking what could possibly lead up to this. It's crazy. It's unbelievable that a six month old got shot. But as a mom of two, the first thing that comes to my mind is what was going on that allowed that child to sort of be in that predicament. Neighbors tell us it happened at this house. People at the house wouldn't comment for this report. Police say they were tipped off about the injured baby on Nikki Avenue after a man who was also shot showed up to Cape Fear Valley Medical Center for treatment. It's still unclear what led up to the shots being fired and how the two victims are connected. It's really heartbreaking. You know, as a payable native, um, it's really sad to see my community just come to this violence and see it happen uh, really close to my home. I live right around the corner from this, so it, this concerns me. Leaders of the Neighborhood Community Watch Group say they're urging neighbors to come together and look out for one another. If you know your neighbors, you'll know your neighborhood. You know what's going on. You can act and, and you know, in, an, in a positive and not be in such a reactive state. You can, you know, a proactive state. And that community watch group really encouraging people to get to know one another as virtually none of the neighbors we spoke to today knew anything about the child who was hurt. Live in Fayetteville, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.